All right, so I'm probably going to get roasted for not knowing this, but who cares? Here it goes. Think of the phrase, you reach, I teach. Think about your first time hearing that phrase. Not hearing that phrase in your day-to-day life, but I'm talking about hearing it in popular media. When was your first time hearing it? Where did that phrase originate from? There may be a certain section of people that think of this as a phrase used by popular YouTuber Chris Smoove. You reach, I teach! For me, when I heard him say it, my first thought went to a movie I used to watch when I was a kid called He Got Game. If you're familiar with this movie, you know the father, played by Denzel Washington, is really hard on his son, Jesus Shuttlesworth, played by Ray Allen. I remember the scene with them practicing in the park. And with all the trash talking that the father, Denzel Washington, does to his son, I remember somewhere in there he threw in the phrase, You reach, I teach. It was so synonymous with this movie for me, I remember it being a catchphrase. There's only one tiny issue with this though. He never actually says this phrase, at least not in the research that I've done. You see, this whole thing came about because I was going to use the scene in the video I'm working on. It was simple. Find the clip. Put the line in there, bada bing, bada boom. I have a meme or whatever it was I was trying to do at the time. To my shock, I couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't on YouTube. Even IMDB didn't seem to have any grasp on this line being in the movie. I even checked on Reddit to see if there was some sort of discussion, some type of forum that talked about the line existing or them remembering it this way. But so far, I've come up empty. I sat back for a moment, a little bit shocked, but undeterred. Eventually, I went to the ultimate source of truth, Google. Now, according to Google, this phrase actually was made popular by Jordan commercial. Weird. It's this Jordan commercial where Jordan, who was on the Wizards at the time, played his younger self on the Bulls. All right, I'm going to take a break here real quick. If you haven't seen this commercial, Jordan v. Jordan, Where's this Jordan versus Young Bulls Jordan? I encourage you to watch it. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Uh, yet. I think this is one of the greatest sports commercials of all time. And leave it to the GOAT to be in one of the GOAT sports commercials of all time. Anyway, I digress. Watching this commercial raised more questions than answers for me. I remember this commercial. I remember seeing this commercial as a kid and thinking, Oh yeah, just like the movie. You reach, I teach. The lesson just started. It's entirely possible that I made this connection up out of nowhere. I wanted to be sure that I knew that line before it was said in the commercial. But why would I think that? What gave me the inclination to think that this commercial was based on that movie? Why would I make this up? And more importantly, why would I attribute it to this specific movie? There are hundreds, if not thousands of basketball movies so why did i attribute it to this one but i swear i remember this being said so now i'm stuck with a mandela effect was this line ever said in this movie was it something that i just thought of one random day when i was watching this commercial it could be a false memory something that i'm just putting together for my own self and something that i just want to be true even though it's not but i can't help but look at this jordan commercial and distinctly remembering once he uttered those words that they came from the movie also maybe you were a basketball player before this time maybe you did used to say this on the court for me a kid growing up during this era I didn't really have any context of that. My first remembered experience of this line came from the movie, and it could have been in popular media somewhere before this commercial came about, but like I said, so far, I haven't found it. Now, this is not a video saying that we live in an alternate reality, even though that may be the case, there's wormholes opening up everywhere, or that everything you remember from your childhood is a lie. It's just about a time when I thought that I knew where something came from, and it was absolutely not the case. I've seen a lot of Mandela effects. Some of them are really good. Some of them I look and shake my head and go, no, we're just remembering that wrong. It didn't happen. 
One instance of this, for me particularly, is the show SpongeBob SquarePants. I guess this whole video, you can pretty much put your time frame on when my childhood was. There was a period of time when I was worried about people knowing that because they think that because I'm of a certain age, I have a certain opinion on things, but whatever. For this video, throwing all that out the window. I was around when SpongeBob first came on the air. I watched this show religiously for the first few seasons all the way up into the movie. And I remembered every episode word for word within the first five seasons. I could probably quote the entire dialogue from beginning to end of most episodes. So it was no shock when people who grew up with the show started remembering things and scenes that became Mandela effects for them. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all remember things a little bit differently. I have to say, looking at the SpongeBob Mandela effects, I haven't seen a Mandela effect yet. That made me question my memory of the show. I watched it all the way through. Everything that people said was just them misremembering. The training video is supposedly a Mandela effect where at the end of it, he ends up showing SpongeBob how to actually make a Krabby Patty. Are you ready? Are you sure? Okay, the secret formula is- That is not true. Never has been. I say this with complete confidence because I thought it was one of the funniest things ever. That the episode ended on a cliffhanger. That was the whole point. They weren't going to give you the secret formula for the Krabby Patty. That's one of those mysteries that just never gets solved in shows. Side note, side note. That's one of my favorite things in shows. Please keep the mystery alive. I love when there's just that one thing that just never gets explained. Arnold's last name. What Cow and Chicken's parents' top half looks like. Sometimes you don't need an explanation for everything. Now I always thought the Krabby Patty secret formula was that whatever you thought it was, that's what it is. I digress. Those Mandela effects didn't have the same grasp on me that this one does. I distinctly remember it. I distinctly remember the line in the movie. I even remember so vividly Denzel's character taking the layup all the way to the basket after saying this line. And to sit back and see that it's not in the movie has me shocked and astonished in a way that I can't really describe. I guess all I'm saying is I don't know if these Mandela effects are real or not. For people who experience them, I don't think we should be as dismissive because as wrong as our memories are, they still hold a place near and dear to our heart. And it's a little bit fun to look at things back in the past and see that we actually misremembered things. How many important moments in our life do we remember it like it happened yesterday? I to find out that it really didn't happen like that. Hey, remember that video where everybody was playing the board game and the Monopoly piece went up Jen's nose? Oh yeah, everybody remembers that. You watch the video, the piece comes off the board, but it doesn't go up Jen's nose. We remember the main event, but the details get a little bit sketchy. I used to be one of those people that was extremely pragmatic and dismissive of anyone who claimed to have a Mandela effect happen to them. You're delusional. You don't need to follow these crazy conspiracies. Maybe it's not that. Maybe it's just sometimes our memories are fallible and things that we think are so true to us may really not be that true at all. As I've already said, that part is completely okay. There's nothing wrong with misremembering things or thinking things happened in a certain way. Traveling back down memory lane only to see who was right or wrong is actually one of my favorite things to do now. This line right here, you reach I teach. What I thought my first introduction to it was, a movie called He Got Game. And yes, our memories are all fallible. We remember things wrong. We don't remember exactly how things happened. You think the Mandela effect is this crazy internet theory that people come up with until it happens to you. And you really sit there and question everything that you remember when you were younger. I'm about to send you down there with them. 9 I can take a loss. Oh, you just gonna give up, huh? I ain't giving up. You just gonna give up. I'm teaching, brother. You just gonna give I'm up. I'm teaching, son, like I always taught you. 